Um, oh, wow. I love pedigree diagrams. People, when you see a pedigree diagram in the exam, you must say, thank you. Yay. I've got full marks. Because everything that you need to answer is here on your pedigree diagram. They give it to you. Okay, it's like asking you to bake a cake and they give you the recipe and all the stuff that you need to use in your recipe. It's all sitting here in front of you. So let's go through this how to deal with a pedigree diagram. I want you to get full marks in an exam. Um, they tell you that Gold syndrome is a sex linked genetic disorder. Okay, if it is sex linked, it is going to be linked to the X chromosome. Remember, Girls, females, have two X chromosomes or gonosomes. And boys, the males, they have an X and a Y chromosome. These two X chromosomes are homologous. And your, these, the XY gonosomes, are non-homologous means that they are not the same. I mean, you can see they're not the same. This one's an X and that one's a Y. They're definitely not the same. Okay, so women, females, have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. Males have 22 pairs of homologous chromosomes and they have one non-homologous chromosome set. Right, so the diagram below shows the inheritance of Gold syndrome in a family. So that's what... Your pedigree diagram is. It's, it's an example of a family tree. Okay, so this would be generation one. This would be generation two. And this one here is generation three. In the case of this pedigree diagram, these guys would be parents one. And these children here, this one, this one, this one, and this one, those would be the F1 generation. Then, uh, um, and, um, Anju and Pilusa, they get married. Remember, she's not part of this family. And they then get married. Here's your marriage line. And they will then be P2. And they will produce these children here, who will be the F2 generation for this family. So we have three generations of family here. We've got the grandparents, we've got the parents, and we've got the children. All right, so that's what it tells you. First thing you're going to do is you're going to look here. An affected female and an affected male. Now, they told you here in the question that it is caused by a dominant allele, X capital G, which means, sorry, there, which means that your affected female is going to have at least one uh, uh, um, uh, cap, uh, um, dominant allele and an affected male we, without a doubt is going to look like that he's going to carry this affected gene so your affected female can look like this because it's a dominant allele or your affected female can be XX capital G capital G your unaffected female must carry two recessive alleles on the X chromosomes. Otherwise, because it is a dominant allele, if it's not two recessives, she is going to be affected. So in order for it to be unaffected, she must carry two recessive alleles. Okay, and there they are. Recessive, recessive. In the unaffected male, well, that's easy. He only has one X chromosome, which is going to carry the recessive allele, and he's going to carry his Y chromosome. So everyone's happy. All right, now, the next step, so you've now looked at your key, and what is affected and what is unaffected. So your circles are always females, and your squares are always male, okay? We're now going to fill in, before we even look at the questions, who is what. So we know that an unaffected male is going to be a blank square and he's going to therefore be X, G, Y. Okay? Easy. And here is an unaffected male. 
So he's going to be X, G, Y. And this little young lady here is going to be an unaffected female, so she is going to carry a recessive allele on both her X chromosomes. And Anju is an unaffected female, so she's going to be X, G, the recessive allele, and X, and the recessive allele. All right, now, once we've filled in all the unaffected with the recessive, two recessive alleles, we now look to work backwards, and we say, okay, we start here, because we want to figure out what Gabby is. So, if Gabby and Pitt together produce Pelusa, Pelusa would have got his Y chromosome from his dad, because sons always inherit their Y chromosomes from their dad. That is why we say that it is the father that determines the gender of the children, because fathers always give their Y chromosome to their son. But Pelusa has, because Pelusa is affected, Pelusa must carry the dominant allele, which means Gabby has the dominant allele because he would have got his X chromosome from his mommy. Okay, but now look at this. Gabby produces this child here and this child here, which means Gabby must be heterozygous. Okay, she is a carrier. All right. And she is affected because it's a dominant allele. Which means that this little girl over here is, she can't be double dominant. She has to have got the capital G or the dominant allele from her mom and the recessive X allele from her dad. Because remember, dads always give their X alleles to their daughters and their Y alleles to their sons. Okay, so now if we look at the male children here, they are going to get their Y chromosome from their dad, Pelusa. Okay. And their mom, Anju, only has recessive alleles, which means these males are all going to be unaffected. And if we look at the female children, they're going to get the dominant allele from their dad, this one, but they're going to get a recessive allele from their moms, which means the girls will all be affected. They'll all have Galt's disease. Now that you've done this, now we can look at the questions. And it says here, name the type of diagram shown above. Well, it is, please, you've got to know this. It is a pair degree diagram. Okay, now, they ask here, how many females in this family? Oh my word, people, I mean, this, that's a giveaway mark. So, how many circles are there? There's one, there's two, there's, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, and then there are two females here, five, Six. So how many girls are there? How many females? There are six. How many males in the F1 generation have Galt's syndrome? Which means they must be shaded. So how many in the F1? Here's your F1 generation because this was your P1. So how many in the F1? It's only Pelusa. So it is one because the other male is unaffected. So it's only one affected male. One. Another one mark. Then they ask here, give Gabby's genotype. It's her genotype, what is in her genes. Gabby is a carrier. She is going to be, uh, uh, um, she's going to be X capital G and X lowercase g. She's heterozygous. She's a carrier. So Gabby is X capital G and X lowercase g. Okay, she's a carrier. And, um, I mean, that's, that's two marks, people. So, so, so far, 
just, just look at the marks that have been allocated here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five, five marks already. Done. Thank you for coming. Then it says, Anju and Pelusa have four children. Give the phenotype. This is what you are going to see physically. This is what is visible physically. It is what is evident and expressed physically. So they've got four children, okay? But they want the phenotype of their sons. And we've already figured out, just from when we did this preparation here, that the males got their Y chromosome from their dad, Pelusa, and they got their recessive X allele from their mother, Anuju. So what are the boys going to be? They are going to be unaffected. They are going to be unaffected with, and you don't even have to add this, I'm just putting it with no gold, what's it, gold um, syndrome or disease. They're not going to have it. They're going to be unaffected. Okay? And give the phenotypes of those sons. The phenotype is going to be um, X, lowercase g, Y. Now, explain your answer to question 2.4. So why are they going to be unaffected? Because mother, what was her name? Anju, okay, is an unaffected female and she is um, X lowercase g, X lowercase g and you see that from the key okay then we have father what was the dad's name pelusa father pelusa is an <coughs> affected male okay and he is going to be X, capital G, that's your dominant allele, Y. Remember, males only have one X chromosome. And sons inherit their Y chromosome. From their father. And their X chromosome. I need space here. I need to go up. And their X chromosome from their mother. Therefore, the sons are x lowercase g y okay all right people remember the x chromosome from their um and and the x chromosome from their mother the mother's chromosome x chromosome was that one or they could have inherited that one doesn't matter they are both carrying the recessive allele and there you go and for that four marks so you would have got one for saying the mother is unaffected, the father is unaffected, sons inherit their Y chromosome from their daddies, and they get their X chromosome from their mothers. That's it, four marks. Thank you for coming. 11 marks in the bag. Just because you know how to read a pedigree diagram.